Okay, so we're back, and you know, I'm not sure what exactly the time that is because I'm not gonna bother counting what the heck time that is. Okay, I'm not that sure how I'm gonna try to, you know, coming up. Should I actually attempt to sabotaging the other competitor, especially this guy? So hating this hero course right now, I have no idea. Or I could try to rack up points instead, because I guess that maybe racking up more points could be more important, and maybe I could totally steal it without any problem or something. It's not a decision right here, but I know, man, to be fair, I'm kind of like overthinking thing, I guess. Might as well gonna try to cut here and see how it's going on. I believe you're gonna... Thanks a lot to helping me, because seriously, you're gonna make- you're gonna helping that hero horse even further or something. Seriously, what's up with you? Wait a minute. Oh my god. Oh my god! It didn't use the move. Yes! Find something more different. Oh boy, I guess it's using the same move again. God damn it. I I just noticed because um it actually from what I kind of noticed, it's actually gonna go back and forth and then they're gonna get like a rainbow combo to rack more point. Oh my god. I mean, again, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna win this. I have, I'm kind of running my idea right now. I mean, in my opinion, for least, like, I have no fucking clue. But I'm gonna try my heart anyway, because who knows, man? I mean, I could totally race quit it, because to be fair, I'm not sure how much I raced it for this freaking you new know, attempt already, but yeah, I have no idea. But I did try my best, that's kind of like a thing, and. Well, let's go all my points that I kind of racking. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for this. Seriously, what is up with you? Well, on the bright side, I mean, um, the other two actually could lose points, so... Better play off, I guess? I'm not really sure, guys. I mean, seriously, I'm not really sure how... Well, how I'm thinking I am right now. I mean, if you feel the, the only best thing I'm gonna do is getting more double team. I mean, just racking, you know, more chain or something. I mean, to be fair, like, Gerdos are not moving anyway, and that hero cost is gonna be my new mortal enemies. Ugh. I mean, I seriously have no idea how I'm gonna, you know, what is the best attempt there? I, I really have no idea, guys. Seriously. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, then. I mean, I'm not actually gonna go first again. Like, whoever racked the most points, I'm actually gonna go first again. And oh my god, that hero is gonna freaking rack a point again. Does it. Oh my god, I'm so... I mean, kind of dare say I'm kind of running up idea there. Um, how is the best strat there? I mean, I'm sorry, how many words is best strategy? Because then doing straight up, you know, getting the best racking combo there, and I know someone can actually start this motherfucker there. Yeah. I, I have no idea. I mean, I have no idea how is the best, what is the best strategy there, guys. I, I really have no idea. Ugh. Look at this. Look at it. Get even more points. It made me more pissed. Seriously. Ugh. <sighs> Actually, maybe for the best action, I might still keep self for the last one, and again, I'll try my best to rack most points as much as possible, I believe. That's maybe the best strat. I have no idea how to do it. <sighs> I so really, why we do this? Why we do this? I, I don't get it. Why in the world do you think it's a good idea? Like, excuse me, why do you think that's the damn good idea in the first place? Like, for real now. I mean, I'm gonna keep... <sighs> You might know about that, I should have used Sucker Cut instead. What am I thinking? Really? You might know about that, I should totally, you know, using that move instead. I mean, to drag me more point. Why did I did that? I'm not sure if this is toughness or coolness, though. I'm not really sure. Okay, I kind of judge it's gonna be toughness. Okay, what the last one? It's gonna. It. Seriously, I know it's gonna freaking ruin everything, does it? Ugh, that's so dumb. But you know what, I'm also gonna get much more impossible right now. Gonna wreck everything I could. Yeah, good strat, man. Good strat for, you know, whoever gonna freaking scare. Seriously, I, I have no idea, really. You go last, and yeah, I, I this is probably my dumb decision. I should have used um so cut instead of using the um power punch. This is another another of term of the AI screw me over. This is um you know how like one epitome that I kind of find annoying trying to beat this shit. Really, real really, I I I really have no idea how sadly I'm gonna get the best out of it. All right, just just saying here, guys. Ugh. I mean, I I. 
I, I, I try everything, all right? I mean, I try everything. I try to predict what, what is the best move for the AI going to use, and then I'm going to try to write everything. And again, if I know about that, I should use that, that move instead to write with more points. But nope, I have no idea. I mean, seriously, the AI just straight up doing everything, and I'm so not a fan of it, all right? Just saying. <laughs> but on the bright side, I actually, you know, make sure I get a bit lackluster there. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, man, but uh, I'm going to keep trying, guys. Holy shit, you still keep hack! Oh boy. God damn it. I mean, I have no idea who's gonna win it right now, but I'm sure a lot of them are definitely out of the picture. But I'm not that sure whoever's gonna, whoever's gonna win this. Because I know Hit of Course actually racks a most point despite not getting the spectacular move. But just to keep for last time somehow, I have no idea, you know, I, I'm. I'm just really have no idea how it's gonna be a thing though. Oh my god, I did it! Oh yes, finally! Find a freaking lame, guys. I finally did it. Spinda finally winning the master contest. Hell yeah! Take that, Heracles! Take freaking that! You finally get third. That what you deserve. Yeah, baby! <sighs> Okay, apparently you think that side card, I mean, thank god the power pun kind of saved my ass there, not gonna lie. But yes, once again, we are actually getting the Master Rank, the second, I mean, not second, I mean, the second is the Q1 for the Contest Muriel. The third, Ribbon! Alright! Awesome! Definitely. Also, yes, we get more picture out. We still got two left, which is we're still gonna work out with um, Level Short. But anyway, his spin there. <laughs> And look how cool it was, guy. Look at how cool it is. Can deny it after all. <laughs> oh well, let's talk to the fan because that's all we're going to, you know, do our best there. So let's hog it. Yes, it is. And yay, Mulberry. I swear we got like a shilling for some reason, but hey, whatever. I know, it's so cool. And Babiri Burry. Thank you. Yes, I know. Mm hmm. And some berry too, this is always nice. Love it. Alright, uh huh. And not a berry, but at least it's still worth it. And yeah. Well, probably gonna go contest for quite a while, apparently. But oh my god, that was quite a freaking journey. You have no idea. How satisfied I finally beat this, you know, contest there. We still got two more though, by the way. But I'm gonna try my best to think magic there. Okay, so let's see a little cup here. I might as well go and shaking the lotto for the day, because why not? I love wanting to shake and get something free. You know it. <laughs> okay. And I don't want to do it really. Eh, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, just want to shake things up a little bit. So, um, yeah, we we're back in. Last time, you you probably know I'm trying my own contest um department, and I just want to you pretty well. So, I guess it's probably about time, guys, to finally using. Oh yeah, I got Alkabai back. <laughs> we're gonna using the sensor ticket over there. So yeah, we're definitely gonna travel to the final place that we can actually access into this game. And yeah, you can actually do it right off the bat after you kind of finish up the Delta episode in case you don't know that you, you already got a ticket after you finish that episode off. But um, once again, I kind of did keep one off a little bit to show a lot of something. But I guess it's actually about time to show this one. So you can actually go to either of the Little Hope City or Sable City in order to um, you know, explore the area. But oh yes, we actually got this one coming up with. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright. So yeah. Anyway, I guess it's probably a good time there, and yeah, this is kind of like the only thing new is actually the fairy up here. So, let's do this. You kind of have to talk to her for it, I guess. So yeah, hello, you're here for the fairy. May I see your ticket? And yeah, we finally showed the ticket, guys. <laughs> Perfect, that's all you need. And where we like to go? So, we're actually go to the Sable City back there, but this is where we're supposed to go here. The Battle Resort. The true post-game content that is really rewarding you for clear, you know, every single thing, including that episode. So, let's go to there. All right. Finally, I could be able to show this place guy talking a white wine thing I'm gonna do. And here we are at the Battle Resort. And oh, Wally's here too. And oh, we see some familiar face there too. Okay then, Arjun, so you come too. 
Mr. Wang actually gave me a ticket as well. So yeah, I kind of like remember the um, kind of like the epilogue on either I believe not sure that episode or when the first time you're beating the game, but I might as well shake it one a little bit here. So yeah. So we got to the little resort and hope for only like, lucky to get to the reset. I'm gonna pop a stand there. Let's check it out. Yeah, pretty cool indeed. And oh, seeing that we actually got some familiar face there. See you later, Ashi. Do it right. Fly on, bro. Aye, aye, take over the crew while I'm away. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea how Wally have a lot of power to just bypass those two there. I mean, I'm sorry, like, I really could be more, maybe, um, I'm not really sure how possible that is. Like, seriously, what is up with that? <laughs> I'm sorry, mom, sorry, running you like that. And he's just running. Ma'am? Oh. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. W what is that brat? No matter how long I, I'm a mess, not a man. <laughs> I love, it's a lot of kind of like the joke that actually like, you know, they kind of, as in, I said, offend people by telling the older woman kind of like man, despite, you know, supposed to be like on 30, and that woman kind of look like 20 in somehow. <laughs> what an honest kid. Oh. Hi. Huh? Is this that kid? Ah oh, yeah, the scammer trainer who put the stop of the team member and that grinder up there. Do you think I run into you there? And that's the run here. He's one of your friends. He only passes by, but felt like a real fight battle there. He must be some trainer. Looks like I'm getting tail on the boat of you. <laughs> if I'm keep banning here a while, waha! Well, that won't be a waste that I came all the way here after all. I gotta say. It's been waiting on my mind ever since Sotopolis, but you know, if we live in a slightly different world, it might have been me. Um, guys, we got some of our Alpha Sapphire, you know, foreshadowing in case you know what it means. Yeah. And my crew that you had to stop. So yeah, they kind of reference the event on the DR version. And yeah, in our version, it will be um, Team Mamma here instead. So yeah, just kind of like a little something something that I want to, you know, kind of like tell you guys about. In order to you think we might have tried Ryan Kyogre to try to use the power ourselves, you know? <laughs> I'd like to go there if it were like that. Oh, sound fun! Well, talk about this guy who kind of have a lot of muscle there, like have a tattoo here too. Oh, wow. Wahaha! <laughs> it's nonsense, of course. It's like there could be another world. Oh, that's like, oh, eh? Oh, you have no idea, man. You have no idea how years ago I actually been in Alpha Fire and, you know, how the journey goes. You have no idea. That's our dream, right? Haha! <laughs> I'm saying our dream can be real. Ah, but seeing me run, getting to run each other like this, I think I'll keep this to you. Matt. Yes, bro. So, after you actually go for the first time, you actually get Shabino Knight. You get this one in the other episode in Alpha Fire instead if you play Alpha Fire. So, yeah. Kinda like it's a role also there. You get Shabino Knight a bit later, not in the other episode in case you're wondering there. So, yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. This is my bro, take you care of it. I look forward to my team again you someday. See you then. Okay, so he actually gonna, gonna be the last time I'm gonna see him, I believe. Wouldn't you know, it he can really make a girl eyes sparkle. He was like that when he meets strong trainers. That's all I have about him though. Haha, <laughs> that's fun, you're crazy fun. And they were strong, you know, though we're not battling. Oh, you have no idea. I even caused a Kai, not Kaiowa, but I even caused a Groudon, um, no, on that event, though. I'm so good. I'm forward to you and me and my bro squad you. Unfortunately, that's not gonna happen, unless you, you decide to play the other version there. So here we are, guys. We actually go to the final place in the game where we can actually go explore. We got to the battle resort there. And it's kind of located right over there. Actually, you can actually go visit there on when you actually go flying to there later too, in case you're wondering. But I'll talk more about that later. So, this area there, I may as well give you a quick tour. Here's the thing though, I am not going to try to talk to everybody there. Um, I got good reason out of it, but here it is. And oh, we see some familiar um, building there. Oh, what's going on there? Wow, incredible. Hmm? You too. You look like a spectator, you might be a trainer who come here for a challenge, correct? Challenge? You see, people who come to the battle resort are the 1-2-2 type. 
Those who come to battle and those who come to, to, to see battle and those come to battle. <laughs> okay then. Oh, that's right. But where can we battle? What? Do you know the battle mason? No, I don't. Oh my. Alright, it's better have you experience it rather than me explain word. Make sure we see the battle mason that up on top of the highlands main hill. Thank you very much. We're sure to do that. Good reply. Nice attitude. Alright, I'll give this each to you. And we're getting the item that I probably never use it. Sorry, but I can't be using this at all, guys. Alright? It's a verse of sword. You can actually record battle in the Man Mason, but I technically never use it. <laughs> That's all I can, you know, like sum up there, guys. Alright? <laughs> okay. And yeah. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm not. I'm gonna skip with those tactics, um, you know, kinda like just make sure it's called I never use it. The Battle Mason. I'm careful with trying to play this, but I think I'll take a look around the island first. I haven't been so far from home before, I've never visited anything like a resort. So I was morning, June, but I'll see you later. I could can battle again here in the resort. So that kind of foreshadowing can actually rematching um with Wally, but boy, in order to get that point. I'll talk more about that later, guys, but I'm not gonna talk about that yet because oh my god, I am so long forward trying to get to that point. By the way, guys, this is the Superman Center in case you can go visit there, so yeah. And just want to shake it up a little bit, of course. We're getting, and once again, probably the final phone journal that we actually find right in Pokemon Center. Oh, okay, I never thought she thought about this one before, but okay, then that's some good trivia. But we got this guy over there. Remember, you know, in the Kilok City, we actually got one guy who will evacuate with that is the best on each Pokemon that you can actually, you know, like try to get probably perfect um, IV. In my opinion, I know, honestly don't give a crap at all, but. We got this one too, right over there. So, we actually, this is the first time I'm gonna talk to him here, so yeah. And yeah, we know. So, of course. Let's just maybe do a quick test. Let's go with, first off, let's go with my very first partner ever, Sceptile there. See what we got there. It's decent all around, okay then. It's on self defense. And oh boy. What? Why did SP actually pretty bad on that one? Seriously, I kinda guess the tile get the right pretty good SP over there. I'm not entirely sure, but okay then. Well, that's something you know by the way. But anyway, let's and yeah, this is gonna be every um quote when he gonna do talk to him again. So I'm gonna go and check my spinner there. So let's do this. This and again, why do I not say I get the best? I mean to be fair, I did call like, you know. To be fair, like you can actually see the potential area on the next snap in case you kind of wanted to get like pretty good potential for um your Pokemon apparently. So yeah, apparently you don't need to talk about him before and, and you can find a good Pokemon for your team. Just say I have the next name over there, like the other game that doesn't get in this thing. So anyway, anyway guys, let's go and explore the battle resort for the first time. And here's a way for the quarter, which I probably never even use. But yes, I did switch back to Akubai a little bit. So yeah, let's do some fun time with Akubai there. Get some hop time. Yeah, look at this. I have some skill. <laughs> but anyway, guys, there's also there's a lot area that you know this place here. I kind of see a lot of you know whoever finished up Omega Ruby or Sapphire gonna spend a lot of time here in this area. But we'll talk about that later anyway. And also there's some um you know a lot of people. I mean people around there. But I'm gonna avoid talking to them yet because I got you know kind of like a good reason out of it. And oh, what's going on there? Uh oh. Ugh. Well, <laughs> I just got out of the body for some reason. <laughs> uh oh, see we got some, you know, event coming up. You, I mean, that'll do something. Where, where am I? Um, Hoenn region? Hoenn? Oh, what's going on there? Hey, what happened to you? You obviously so into in the skin. Even a trouble place like Hoenn was so in here, you cast a go. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, guess I'm not shy. Come to my cottage. And it's kind of like, you know, one event there, when you're shaking the battle resort there, but there's going to be more that you can actually shake there, but I'll talk about that later, guys. Anyway, go back to Themagic there, and this resort is kind of special a little bit, in case you kind of like see right here, it does rotating whatever you kind of like go from in each area of the island. So in other words, kind of like you can totally push all the right through all, you know, kind of like all the time when you're hitting the wall like this. And then it actually, you know, moving to there, you can actually just turn. And also there's a lot of, you know, area there. Yeah, I just got like a little something something here, guys. And some, you know, there's a lot of people around there, which I, again, I technically gonna avoid them for now. I have good reason out of it, right? Just saying. 
But anyway, just, you know, shading the area out, and also some area you can talk, which is kind of pretty cool. All the such, right? And I guess there's gonna be one person I want to talk to him. It's this guy right here with the bike over there. So let's talk to him here a little bit. Hello, I'm traveling around the whole region by bike. Do you have a bike too? Wow, that's a rider bike. It's really cool. Maybe you should buy one too. So yeah, this is actually one last um, person you kind of want to talk about to get one of the best thing that you can get. But before I actually go to there, we actually got this um, boy over there. Let's talk to him a little bit. Hi, I'm a daycare lad. We're not actually a daycare man because apparently this, guy, this kid is kind of too young to call a man. Yeah. So, in case you're wondering, this is another area you can get a Pokemon daycare. In this game, and probably the only game for, um, you know, by far, that does have two daycare area. You can actually do and get your Pokemon, you know, hatch the egg a lot together and, you know, all those such. So, yeah. That's kind of like another something, indeed. And, okay then. So yeah, this is kind of like a thing and oh, wait, what? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell you what the heck was that. Might as well go helping a little bit. Oh, okay. We actually get some, you know, team out of it for, you know, pay some money. That's cool. I will say right now that this place here is kind of like, this is the only thing that kind of making a lot of post game um, people who kind of like playing, finish up the game and you know, Especially, this place is actually the most famous place you're gonna try to master the method in the game. I'm not even kidding that this place is actually the most famous place to try to master the method. In case you guys know, you can ride all the bike around the island and then straight up just shang all the time and then just kinda like do a loop there. Yeah, you can actually do a possible really, you know, kinda like really quick loop out around there and get all the egg the freaking time. Which is I kinda did in, in my, you know, Ops of Fire game too, that I did master the method in this island too, so yeah. That's another something something I kind of want to, you know, point at you guys out. This is kind of like one of the most famous plays to do Masuda Method in this generation. X and Y does have one area that kind of, you know, helping one out, but it's not as good as in this place there. So yeah, just also something something I kind of want to, you know, point it out to you guys. Um, but for now, guys, I think there's only one house. I, I, I mean, for the least, I kind of want to enter that for a little bit. I hope it doesn't actually took any event yet. Something like that. I mean, that's kind of more the area I want to explore, but you know what, I'm probably gonna do that a bit later. Afterward, I'm gonna go right back to um, Maui City, because there's something I want to do. But this way here, I believe, you can actually see... Oh, hello there, we got something nice over there, so let's check it out here. Okay, then. And yeah, you can actually get a lot of free stuff over there, but first of all, we got um, a Gengar right there, so yeah. Free Megastone, always nice, love it. And we also got a bunch of items on this area, so I might as well grab all of them first, anyway. So then we actually got all the stat um, increase um, item um, for free, for some reason. Might as well grab everything because, you know, we could. So yeah, <laughs> okay. So might as well, you know, probably grab my summer camera and actually go back to more while. And again, this place here is the actually fly where you like. I mean, when the first time you actually um, you need to arrive there, you need to use a ferry, but after your first time arrive, you can go fly or I mean in and out there anytime you like. So there's no need to worry about you. Have, you need to go to the boat and straight up, you know, going back and forth whatsoever that is. So yeah. Oh, okay. I turn everything right now apparently. <laughs> okay, so let's just go back to Marwai City and do the pleading that I kind of want to do for the longest time. Let's go. And I would say they recommend after you kind of like do the post game content, um, you know, after you kind of like uh, arrive at Battle Resort, you kind of do this the first thing. Trust me, guys. Trust me, it's actually going to be totally worth it. I mean, to be fair, that you maybe you may miss out, like, you know, the magic there. But anyway, let's go back to the bike shop, um, you know, for quite a while. By quite a while, I mean, we just visit there for, you know, <laughs> the shortest time there. But anyway. So, let's check it out a little bit. So, yeah. Okay, I know. So let's talk to him a little bit there. So anyway. Oh, it's you. I've been waiting for you. Maybe I'll come to my shop saying they saw you ride a ride a bike here and they want to buy a bike too. Thanks to you, my business is driving and showing my appreciation. I'll give you another bike. Yes. This game there, you can actually get two bikes in the same time. The, re the original game doesn't get this aspect though. I mean, if you kind of want to get used to another bike, you have to trade by, um, to him um, wherever you actually was in this place. But... In order to get that, you kind of need to use a certain bike to, you know, go to a certain area and talk to people. Why, I believe you're probably riding a bike, I believe. I'm not entirely sure you need to, you know, you need a specific ride a bike in order to 
um, getting to that um, conversation or not. But yeah, the last person in the Mary Sword, the, the, the Triad's lead over there, is the final person, in case you already talked to the other two I show all the long time ago, in order to get this bike. So, yes, we finally get bought a bike. Now we get a mark bike there, guys. So yeah, we finally did it, guys. And yeah, just to show guys that I finally, the work is finally paid off right over there. Yes, we finally get both Mark Bai and Echo Bite. I usually gonna go with Mark Bai to register because um to be fair, Mark Bai is kinda really fast, so yeah, that's another thing. Okay, so before we actually gonna end, I'll might as well go to um I guess I'll go for a little, you know, short trip a little bit just to maybe get in more flat a little bit. Because I think I actually go to the certain number that I believe I could to should be able to get the next rank right now. And I could totally show you guys what you can actually do about it for the ranking system in the thing. And yes, okay, thank god it does have the, um, the place that actually think we take and oh, uh, for fuck's sake, I forgot about that thing. Fine, we're just gonna go to, you know, whatever the flag that is, so might as well go to the base in my islet. Oh, the metal. Yeah, the metal one. <laughs> forgot about that, alright? For fuck's sake, I forgot about this, this thing. One day K decided to add one trainer that's blocking the damn way. Thanks a lot. I mean, I kind of want to maybe explore a bit more, like, you know, I kind of want to explore the light up mirror spot, but I'll kind of keep that maybe later. And I guess, you know what, I might as well take this flag right here. So, I actually got to the 30 flag, and I believe... Wait, what? You're not getting anything yet? Seriously? I just want to be actually get 30 flag and actually get something new here. Did I just get something wrong there? I guess I probably did. Okay, we'll come back here later, guys. We'll come back here later when I ask you said, what is the amount of black in order to actually get a new rank there. But I think before we actually end, um, might as well go check the Lady Mirage spot, and maybe, fingers across that going to be Mirage spot, I need to use two bikes, so I could totally demonstrate how, you know, how, like, you kind of want to need two bikes on this, you know, exploring area. I'm not really sure how it's going to be, though, because, you know, again, it's going to run myself the damn time, and I'm not remember, you know, which one i already been there. I mean, I've already been there before, I mean, there's gonna be no item, kind of like, visible item there, but at least I could totally nav the hidden item, I mean, at least the uh, triples and nasty ways, but still, we say they actually go for something new there, not gonna lie, in my opinion, for at least. Oh yeah, before we actually go, go enter there, so in case you're kind of wondering where the, um, you know, the battery sword located in this over, you can actually travel to the Elm Foot here. Yes, the battery sword is right over here. But it's kind of weird though, because you guys see that I don't get why they're not actually animating that. It's probably maybe because it's kind of spoiler how it's going to look like when you actually arrive there. I can understand that, but it's kind of weird me sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. It is probably me just complaining, but probably shouldn't be complaining because this game get a lot of good content adding up there. So yeah. Okay, hope that this thing I didn't hear before though. I mean, yeah, I said I'm it long now, I might as well just, you know, you know, wrap things there. I'll definitely maybe show more of the Mirage spot later in next video. So, yeah, there's something something there, right? Just saying. Okay, let's do a quick check there. Okay, at least it's the, the play I did not actually been here before. And also, we got, um, one Pokemon that I don't think I caught or seen it yet, but I'll probably check that later. So, also, we get a um, Freeman Ixer there. On this, you know, Miras Forest there, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna shake in the item right now. Sorry about that, but we're not sadly care of that right now. Right there. And free time mushroom. Alright, thanks you. <laughs> okay there guys, I'm gonna wrap this part up here guys. Next time, I probably maybe do maybe more Miras spot and maybe I'll actually get more fine fact off camera to show you guys something we can actually do. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of bummed out a little bit. I thought actually 30 flag actually don't you, you get something new, but apparently I was wrong. But I hope that actually, like, you know, next time I've been there, I won't be wrong. So, yeah, <laughs> something like that. But anyway, guys, um, my arm kind of get paralyzed right now, so I better record, stop recording here. So, hope you all enjoyed. There's going to be more stuff we can actually gonna show on, you know, the post-game content. I'm going to try to maybe rusting this thing up a little bit because I'm going to start auto sun soon. So, yeah, just going to say I'm going to gonna wrap this thing up soon. So, yeah, that's kind of all I say here, right? Anyway. My arm getting is kinda killing me right now. I'll see you next time then guys.